how a poultry farm makes a million eggs. Egg automation. A worker pulls the trolley loaded with a high number of eggs towards the hatch care transfer room. Each tray in the trolley is sent to the steaming section automatically until the entire trolley is left with no tray. Whereas the trays are further sent to the live embryo detection plant, where eggs with good quality are picked by the machines, while those that are left are wasted by placing them in a different box. The same process continues. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're obsessed with farm and technology related videos. Give a thumbs up to this video so that we can know you're supporting us and valuing our efforts. Similarly, the eggs are then sent to the precise down setting, where the machines suck them up and put them in the next tray. The trays are accumulated and sent to the steaming section, which ultimately, through artificial factors, propels the birth of chicks after some determined duration, which is in days. Additionally, the average percent of successful chicken hatching is around 55 to 75 percent. Keep watching. Hatchery. When the hatch becomes successful and the chicks come out from the eggshells, then these chicks are taken to the no-touch chicken separation, which is also an automatic machinery process that further sends the chickens to undergo a series of other processes too. Among these processes comes the hatch care chick sexing that is the distinguishing the masculine and feminine chicks into two various categories based on their sex. While this processing is carried manually by the workers who have built an astounding experience by glancing once at the chicks. Successful hatchery management depends on the right tools to monitor the needs of the eggs and chicks and properly trained staff to measure and react to those requirements. Once the chick sexing process is done, the chickens are again placed in the trays and kept in the steam room for the provision of warmth, because in the absence of natural warmth from their mother, the artificial steam warmth is considered as a substitute, which is a must process to be provided to the chicks. Poultry Farm Technology the same chicks, after some days, get transformed into chubby chickens, which later don't entail too much extra care. As you can easily see in the video, that the poultry farm only contains a watering system for the provision of sufficient water and a feeding system that provides sufficient grain to the chickens. These chickens are fed with a unique and different kind of grain that contains chemical compositions so that their growth occurs artificially because the natural growth of these chickens can take three to four times extra duration than through this process and grains.
Therefore, not only the hatching process of these chickens plays an important role, but the grains or any other food that's fed to these chickens equally contribute to their growth and nourishment. Simultaneously, the workers are asked to be cautious regarding the diseases that can prevail among the chickens, because they can become contagious, which can directly affect the overall farm and leaving no chickens left. This is why such farms apply the proactive strategy to vaccinate the chickens, or throwing such chickens out of the farm for not compromising the other chickens. Egg grater and packer. This is the riskiest component in the egg poultry farm because the product egg itself is a fragile good which demands very careful operations. This is why technology can be the only element that can do this task very well. To imprint the eggs with the factory logo, the farms have installed various printers to carefully print their desired texts on the eggshells. Similarly, after printing the eggshells with the desired text, the eggs are escalated towards the packaging section with a very smooth conveyor belt and cautious streamlined operations. Then the eggs are packed into various boxes. Eggs should be stored pointed end down to keep the yolk centered and keep any bacteria as far as possible from the yolk, which is far more likely to be contaminated by any bacteria that enters the egg than the non-bacteria friendly white. And lastly, let us know where you're watching from in the comments section.